Hey friends, what's going on? My name is Swimburger and today I'm going to show you a couple of ways to take screenshots hidden away inside Chromium browsers. I use these tricks all the time in the Chrome and Edge browser, but it should be available in all Chromium browsers. To be very clear with you, this functionality is targeted at web developers and not for general usage. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to open up the Microsoft Edge browser and go to my website swimburger.net. To be able to access the hidden functionality, you have to open up the developer tools. To open the developer tools, press F12 or Ctrl Shift I. Or click on the overflow menu on the top right. Click on more tools and then click on developer tools. Inside of the developer tools, there's another overflow menu where you can find the run command menu item. Click on this menu item or hit Ctrl Shift P. This will open up the command window. As you type, you can find a whole bunch of useful commands. Among those commands, you can find the screenshot commands. There are four different screenshot commands. Let's try each of these commands out. The first is the area screenshot command. After you select a command, you can focus back on the web page and draw a rectangle. When you release your mouse, the pixels in the rectangle are exported to an image which can be saved to your machine. Now on Windows, we already have the snipping tool. So this command honestly doesn't add much value, unless you're on a different operating system without built-in snipping. The second screenshot command is capture full size screenshot. And this is by far the most useful of all four commands. This command will take a screenshot of the current web page, but not just what's on screen. It will also include everything below the fold. If this command wasn't available, you would have to take multiple screenshots and stitch them together. This is a huge time saver, especially on mobile, where pages usually have a much larger vertical scroll. The third screenshot command is capture node screenshot, which is also pretty useful. This command will let you screenshot a specific node in the DOM tree. First, you have to select the node you want to screenshot, and then you have to run the command. If you skip the first step, nothing will happen. I actually didn't select a node at first because I had no idea what I was doing and I was confused that nothing was happening. Recently, Chromium made it even easier to take node screenshots. Simply right click on the node and click on capture node screenshot. The last command is capture screenshot and this will take a screenshot of the visible part of the web page. But there's another way to do this. Click on this button to enable the device toolbar. In this mode, you can easily test your web pages on different devices and resolutions. And additionally, under the overflow menu, you can find the capture screenshot and capture full size screenshot option. Now the cool thing is, you can easily simulate different devices and then take screenshots. Even cooler is that you can take screenshots while simulating a device that is higher resolution than the device you are actually using. This may be a little niche, but this way you can upscale screenshots of web pages. And that's all the different ways you can screenshot using Chromium browsers. If you enjoyed this video, share, subscribe, and leave a like for more content like this.